subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Today on Lady Mary Bath, we will visit the Hand Me Up shop in the Woodlands, Texas. It is your community resale store. It's part of the Interfaith of the Woodlands organization that is a nonprofit social service agency. And you know, we love to support our charity resales. I can't wait to show you around. Let's get shopping. It's a pleasure to introduce you to Natalie, the general manager of the Hand Me Up Shop, and she will tell us more about the mission. Thank you. Um, we are uh, the Interfaith Hand Me Up Shop, and Interfaith of the Woodlands has recently celebrated its 48th anniversary. Um, we offer um, discounted clothing, jewelry, um, and housewares, um, all of the items that you see that are in the Hand Me Up shop have been donated by the local community. Um, and we try to make it really appealing out on the sales floor um, and shoppable um, for customers and clients. And you have beautiful things. Thank you. I was you. just here <laughs> briefly over the summer and I can't wait to shop some more today. And a lot of carefully curated items. Mm -hmm. I see that in the giftware section you have water for crystal, even Baccarat I saw. And um, here in this room, I see a Waterford lamp that I will show you in just a minute. And um, with your mission, you do help those in the community that yes. maybe need rental assistance or maybe a food pantry. Mm -hmm. So yes, 100% of the proceeds that we um, garner here at the Hand Me Up Shop directly benefit our programs and services. Um, we also have a veggie garden, um, a food bank. Um, we are also, we have a clinic. Um, and all of the um, all of the proceeds that we make here directly benefit those programs. That's and wonderful. Services. And you know we love to support charity resales. I know a lot of my viewers out there uh, they feel good about supporting that, and it's great to really see where your money goes. And mm -hmm. of course we get deals, and who doesn't love that? Well, I'm really impressed with your mission and. I can't wait to introduce everyone to some of your beautiful things. So if you live in the Houston area, make sure to pop into the Hand Me Up shop. Here are some luxury items I wanted to highlight that have been carefully curated and they have not yet hit the sales floor. You can actually call and order, maybe not the lamp, but some of the smaller items and they will ship to you. This is the Waterford Crystal Florence Court Floor Lamp. I remember when that came out in about 2000. It's beautiful, they made a vase that matched. My friend has the buffet lamps, they're gorgeous. And look at this pineapple finial. I don't remember that that was standard with it. That could be an upgrade that they've added. And what a deal, that's gorgeous. They don't make it anymore. And here's a Chanel handbag, isn't this special? I don't really usually hold a Chanel handbag. That's really something neat. And they have authenticated it, it has all the papers, and that could be yours too if you want to call in. And a small item like this, they could easily pop in the mail to you. And a Cartier watch, isn't that lovely? And it's got, it looks like a cabochon sapphire on the stem here. And I think that this would look great with just about any outfit. This is an example of some of the fabulous items that they have here at the Hand Me Up Shop. It's such a warm welcome in this wonderful charity resale shop. It looks like a retail store with their beautiful displays and great accessories. I really like these handbags. And you know, I'm all about clutches. They're easy to carry. And this is an eel skin black. I would go with just about anything. And $3, what a deal. This soft butter color would be great for the fall. It's a good quality leather, and here are some for the evening or for prom season if you have teenagers. You can't go wrong with a purse that cost a couple of dollars. Natalie's going to show us around the boutique. 
so welcome. This is our boutique area. Um, we have a little bit more elevated items in here. You'll find brand names um, like Talbot's, Lafayette 148. Um, we also have designer shoes. We've had um, Gucci, Prada, um, and jewelry in the past that have been donated as well. Um, so if you'd like to follow me over here, we've got um, handbags, accessories, um, and a ton of selection to choose from. Um, there's lots of treasures in here. Very nice. Yes, I came here briefly after we filmed in Conroe over the summer, and we just had a short window before we had to get back. It was a long day of filming, and I found a little black dress, and I just love it. It's classic. I did add it to my wardrobe in Germany, so I don't have it, otherwise I would have worn it for you today. I think we're ready for fall staples. <laughs> We've got a lot of print, um, a lot of accessories to choose from, um, neutral items, everyday items, and going out items as well. So there's something for everyone. This is fabulous. It's $60 in faux fur. Look at that. Oh, I just love it. I'm definitely going to do some shopping here today. And look at this scarf. That really dresses up a plain color, doesn't it? You can transition from day to night really well. From Chico's, it's $20. And Look, it has the original tag on it, brand new. You do find that a lot in here, don't mm -hmm, you? Yes. Things that are donated. All right, and I see some jewelry as well and mm -hmm. other accessories. We do, we um, actually um, partner with our local jeweler Roba shows and they um, offer us free battery replacements um, for any watches that have been donated. Um, they also verify if an item is sterling silver, if it's of higher value. Um, it helps us to identify um, a little, well. yes, brands. That flower pendant, that's lovely. I think mm -hmm. I need to take a closer look at that. All right, now we get a closer look at that. That's that pendant, that's beautiful. At first, I wondered if that could be James Avery. I don't know that it is. It's gorgeous, and I think it's probably sterling silver. This one is a Judith Lieber alligator hand clutch. It's lovely. Wow. And I know 500 seems like a lot, but these go for several thousand, don't yes. they? That's what the stars wear when they walk the red carpet, a Judith Lieber. That is special. I get to touch a Judith Lieber. Wow. <laughs> And does the senior discount apply to the boutique? I know Wednesdays they have 20% off for seniors. Absolutely. Seniors 62 and up enjoy 20% off of their entire purchase. So it's a really great day to come shop. 12 more years, I have to wait for that. <laughs> <laughs> They've got wonderful clothing. Even in their main store, they have some good labels. And the prices are right. Look at that. I think that's better than Goodwill. And everything's so well organized. And here we have a Houston Texans jersey. And you know, those are so expensive to get any kind of team spirit wear. And of course, everything's organized by size and sometimes color. This looks like Pioneer Woman. That'd be a beautiful tablecloth. And I always gravitate towards Classic Blue. Rafaela is a, a department store brand that you see often. And that's a nice sunny look. They also have children's clothing and menswear. Really nice selection. This is a J. Crew sweater. That'd be great for the winter. It's a rather modern look. Trina Turk is a good brand. And this is definitely very modern. Look at that. We're back in the boutique now. That's a nice look. Soft surroundings. That's an expensive label. And Chico's, I tried this on and absolutely love it. I would need to have the sleeves hemmed. It's a good deal at $15. I got distracted, but I probably should have bought that. And this is perfect for spring and summer. Very light and airy look with beautiful colors. And this jacket for $15, Chico's, nice look for the fall. And this is a bit of a walk on the wild side, etc. I like those colors. I could see a table set in that. And that's a nice seasonal color. I think this needs to go to a ski resort in Aspen. Look at that. Another pair of pants from etc. These are sold by distributors. They're very expensive. And shoes galore. I think Imelda Marcos has been here 
Look at these beautiful blue and white pumps. Very classy from J. Crew. And then in their main section, they've got all kinds of brands and looks. This reminds me of the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton. She is definitely making wedges popular again. And lots of different modern looks. It's really a neat place if you're looking for just that one pair of shoes to go with an outfit. And great accessories here with the scarves, the handbags, and jewelry. I like these handbags in the boutique. The coach is very expensive retail, probably $350 or more. And look at that, $25, gently used. It's great for the fall and winter. And Sack makes some really neat handbags. This is a crossbody, which is perfect for a day out shopping. And the bone leather hobo style handbag is classic. I encourage you to come in and shop their boutique. They have fabulous clothing and great lines. I was in here just for a few minutes last summer and I found a little black dress that I've left in Germany as part of my wardrobe there. Otherwise, I would have worn it for you today. And this is a Jay McLaughlin. I am so happy with this wrap dress. It's a great material, very forgiving. And I'm pairing it with a $3 eel skin clutch that I found in the main section of the store. And I think I'm ready for a night out. I wanted to show you this Chico's jacket, how it looks on. Isn't that fabulous with all the embellishments? And this wrap is really neat. That would go with any outfit. I have a similar one, so I'll probably pass on that. But what a deal. Oh, so many great things here. And the furniture, there's quite a great selection. You can also repurpose these items and paint them. Here's a bedroom set ready to go with the dresser, the bed, the lamp, and even an accent tray. And there's so much paint out there where you can easily redo chalkboard paint. And my favorite section of the store, tabletop. Oh, I just love it. And they create beautiful vignettes with those greens and blues. I love that with the orchid. It's kind of a ready-made look. And here they've repurposed some furniture as well to use as display cases. And if you're looking for just that right touch of a fall accent or something for the holidays, this is definitely your store. Here we've got some big, bold items. It'd be great for fall. And some lamps. And they also have a very organized furniture section here where you can just imagine some of these re recovered or perhaps distressed and painted. And you know I love dishes. Look at this. You find anything from a complete set to just individual pieces. The Villarenbach Grenada. I have not heard of that pattern before, but we had something in our home in Germany that looks like this in green that was my husband's grandmother's. So it could be that pattern. That's a nice neutral there with a classic look. And the Eschenbach China from Germany. Lots of different plates and rectangular serving pieces. That's a saucier, sort of like a gravy boat. And I think the price is right to get that many pieces. This gravy boat is nice. It's got a soft pink rose pattern. There's some great china pieces here, and I love the oval shape. This has a very sweet rose pattern along the rim, and it has a great back stamp with Bavaria. And you're probably thinking, what will I do with a beautiful oval handled casserole when I don't have the matching pieces? There's so many possibilities. You could actually place flowers lengthwise here and have them peek out of one end. It's a great way to hold water for a vase, and that could be elevated on a cake pedestal. I've actually seen it and that's gorgeous. I think that that's something that I'm gonna do in the future. And then you can also use it for jewelry storage. My aunt has a casserole without the lid that she uses. And when she walks in the door, takes off her jewelry and it's always close at hand. And this is something that I think could be very purposeful. And for $9, what a deal. Look at this, a gift ready to go. Six cups and saucers with the Eiffel Tower. Great for a world traveler and always a nice seasonal display and think about this for a gift if you're giving something to a friend or a neighbor you could put some homemade cookies on it for four dollars and fifty cents a seasonal dish with cellar wrap or ribbon and you've got a great gift for ten dollars this rectangular tray would be nice too 
beautiful glassware you can actually mix and match. This is one of my favorite finds today. It's a Nora Fleming rectangular platter for $4. That hole actually fits one of their minis to create a seasonal look, and I think that's over $50. My favorite section of the store. This gives you a nice overview of how they feature items with a fall look right now and a touch of Christmas as well. Sunflowers are beautiful. And lots of bowls and dishes. That's one thing that you can easily adapt for any gift need. The oval vintage glass is really fun. Fill that with peanut butter balls, solo wrap a ribbon, and you got a great gift. You could always include your recipe. And the silver rimmed wine goblets. I think that could be for water or wine or anything you think of. And I really like that they have collector's plates. That tells a good story here, Norman Rockwell. And the Linux, I think, are exceptional. Or those beam, those are actually beam. Oh, that's even more valuable. Look at that. Those are highly collected. And this frame is really nice, very simple and elegant, and the price is right. And I love monograms, especially on these vintage glass plates. How fun! Doesn't have to be your monogram to be interesting on your table. And the fleur de lis is nice. You can fill that with a candle. Perhaps put some candy corn in it, nestle something in it. And some packaging for wine bottles if you're invited to dinner. Craft items beautifully organized here. I like the memo board for a little girl's room. And I am card diving now. Look at this hand painted bowl. Oh, such fun. It's always nice to see things before they hit the shelves. I just got lucky with that today. Oh, that strawberry bowl looks interesting. Have to turn that over and see what kind of mark it has. Candle holder. And there's a bowl that looks like it could be great for the fall. Noble Excellence. I think that's a Macy's brand. 12 Days of Christmas. Lots of possibilities. Look at all these great pieces. Well, as you know, I went cart diving and found some great items. This is my favorite. It's a Tuschenreut, which is from the Hutschenreuter group in Germany. And it's been hand painted and embellished even on the inside. And bowls, of course, are so purposeful. And I'm seeing now it was painted by Jules Millard in 1975. How neat is that? And what a deal for $5. Here's another piece that she painted, a candle holder with beautiful roses, and it's only $2. Wouldn't that be fun to add to a table, especially if you had white dishes or pink depression glass or even the green, that would be so nice. And the strawberry bowl I thought was very pretty and had no idea until I turned it over and looked at the back stamp. It's actually from Port Merion, made in England. You know, they have the Botanic Garden and the Pomona pattern. I've never seen this before. It must be a retired one. And I'm really glad to have that for $2. And this is a nice bowl, which make a really good gift for the holidays. It's the Noble Excellence 12 Days of Christmas, which I believe is a department store brand. And it's got lots of different designs. I think that's so pretty for fall as well. And the other item of interest that I found is this set of cups from Kuwait. And I have a very close friend who is from Kuwait and it's $6.50, and this would be for serving tea. And there are not any saucers with it. They're just the little teacups. Isn't that pretty? I could even see a row of these on a table with a flower in it. Wouldn't that be striking? And always look for new items that are being put out when you're shopping resale because you might find a bargain of the century. A teapot without a lid can have a second life. Made in Japan. Isn't this a great arrangement? I love it. They've got Waterford, Baccarat, Precious Moments, and the Beatrix Potter from Royal Dalton. I love those vintage glasses. I see a Linux vase. Might have to take home that Waterford Crystal Mother and Child. It's over $100 retail. And there's actually a wine refrigerator. Look at that. Those are expensive and they give you the retail value. And it's in good working order. Lovely pottery pieces. Be great for the season as well. And I like how they pair Touches of yellow and orange with the classic blue. 
And speaking of classic, the Poppies on Blue was one of the top bridal patterns in the 90s, but I've not seen this before, also made by Linux, the Blue Brush Strokes. I wonder if that predated Poppies on Blue. I quite like that. Very popular pattern, and it's individually priced. This looks like a wonderful boutique. Look at this display. You could have a simple plain white shirt and add one of these necklaces and look like a million bucks. And some seasonal pins. I'm excited to introduce you to Carla. She has volunteered here for about 10 years and she's become quite the expert. And she's got some great stories to tell us. Carla, I understand you have found some antique books that have been donated over the years. Yes, I have. Yes, tell I have. Tell us about that. Well, um, both of the books had made it um, through the donation door and decided by staff that they weren't store worthy. Um, they were in pretty poor condition, um, very old and fragile. Um, so I rescued them from the uh, bin to be recycled. Oh my, yes. okay. Uh, I have uh, been an Ancestry.com avid, obsessive, compulsive uh, fan for about 10 years. So inside these books, the first one had signatures. And um, the second book had a Confederate tax receipt. And both of the names I decided to uh, look up on Ancestry to see if I could find, or other websites uh, of genealogy websites, to see if I could find who these belong to. And my goal initially is to return them to a living relative get them out of the landfill yes, and into, exactly. into a place that they may be treasured and instead you, of trash. And were yes. you able to? Yes, both of them. Yes, I was. Uh huh. What an amazing phone call that must have been. <laughs> I have your ancestor's book from, what was it, 1814? Well, the, f the first book I did was from 1868. It was a Christian education book. The second one was from 1814. It was a book of poems. And inside was the tax Texas Confederate tax receipt dated 1864. Wow, that's a beautiful story. Yeah, and they were from Montgomery County, Texas. Which is very close. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Oh, the, how neat. And the living relative for the first book was in New York. Were you able to return that book yes, to New York? Yes, and she was so excited. She was a genealogy buff herself, so she was just very, very excited to receive that. She called it a, a treasure. It mm -hmm. truly is. Mm -hmm. I'm so thankful for you to be able to rescue these books. And I love the hunt. And Carla has another discovery that she's working on. Tell us more about that. Well, uh, our assistant manager brought in this framed, very large framed piece, handwritten, very beautiful script, uh, dated 1823. Um, it's from England, and it's a contract between two men for buying or purchasing a parcel of land in England. So I'm in the process now of trying to find these people and return this document to the to a legal, uh, not a legal heir, but a um, living heir. Yes. So that's the process, it's, it's awesome. Wow, I love that you're interested in genealogy and ancestry, mm -hmm. and uh, that's fascinating. And it's always a happy ending, that's a great story. Yes. I can't wait to hear the rest of that. They have lots of artwork. And that's something to consider when you're shopping resale because framing is so costly. Even with a small print, I've spent at least $300. And they give the value and I believe that each piece you make an offer on. I'm not sure about the pricing. I didn't look at that too carefully, but they have some great pieces and sometimes a series of prints as well. It is definitely a good value when you're shopping resale. Look at that beautiful watercolor. I wish I had more wall space. Here, these ducks are so neat. That's hand colored etchings. Oh, those would be great for a den or an office. And resale shops often have seasonal all year round. Here, they've got some Halloween. That's cute for $350. And something for men. There's some framed golf art there, a print that has some significance with a brass plate. And 45s. I don't see these often at resale shops, 
I like to flip through and look at the artists and the songs they were known for. You could even frame these and create a display, especially if a song was special to you. They do have a children's section with toys and books and even wall art for the nursery. And as you're planning Christmas gifts, I think that's something to think about as resale. You can often find something that's new in a box. It makes a great gift for kids. Look at that for $6, magnetic DIY. And Anna and Elsa are looking for their castle. It's only $4. We've had such a good time today at the Hand Me Up shop. I got that fabulous dress and that bargain $3 eel skin clutch. I can't wait to have a night out on the town. And my friend is getting the oval casserole from Bavaria. And I'm getting the hand painted pieces that you saw and a Port Marion bowl. Sure had fun today. I will link the Hand Me Up shop information in the video description so that you can find them. And it's definitely important to stay in touch. Yes, we're gonna have upcoming items like our holiday extravaganza on November 5th, which you won't wanna miss. I'll be here. <laughs> we'll have a ton of holiday decor, um, table settings, outdoor uh, decor, and um, fabulous finds then. And we are constantly getting donations in daily. So there's a fresh set of inventory every time that you shop. Yes, it's probably a different store every time you come. And that's what makes it so interesting. I encourage you to come out to the Hand Me Up shop and support your local community. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with charity resale shopping.